Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It Down. So this episode is going to consist of a ton of dialogue, both Shouldering Keep and... Well, thank you. The House of Ballads. At least that's the plan. Uh, so I don't know how long that's going to take. Just uh, buckle up for a lot of conversating. <laughs> if that's not what you're here for, feel free to skip to the next episode. Not today, obviously, but tomorrow. Uh, we'll also be getting a lot of quests. If I remember, Shouldering Keep actually has like a bounty board. Of some sort. It might be a person. Stranger. So yeah, it might be better to use the bow here. Well, maybe not. Because it says cost their ability to break all these pots. So we're not getting a lot of money out of this, but you know what? Every little bit counts. I'm gonna do a full yeah, that's a full run around. What have we here? Yeah, also a lot of looting to be had. We'll start with the NPCs that are out here. We'll start with uh, Grima Pedioris. Well, well, are you a new recruit then? Why not? Go on and talk to Tyne Delfric. Sign on as a hireling, or don't. See if I care. Uh, the Fey. Say what you want. The Fey are remarkable, true wonders of the natural world. Of course, they tend not to look upon us so fondly. Children Keep has long been a source of tension between the Warsworn and Fae of this region. If they have suggestions on how to move elsewhere, I will gladly listen. Uh, Astordura. You've met that surly bastard then? You're lucky he didn't twist your hand off. Does he have something against hands? A uh, Children Keep. This fortress has been a fixture in the forest for as long as anyone can remember. Although I'm sure the Fae would have something to say about that. It was built on the ruins of Forge Fire Keep, which was built on the last few stones of Hammer Rock, the Great Varani War Temple. Did y'all see her shoulders? Was she shimmying at me? Uh, Tyne Delfric. Castellan of this keep and Ancient of War, which means he runs things here, and he runs things for all Warsworn, everywhere. And Warsworn. The Warsworns, where skilled warriors belong. We won't have thieves or skulkers in our ranks. If you can fight with an honest weapon in your hand, then we'll have you. Bye. That's a now. shame, because my weapon is a liar. Hello, Tyne Delfric. A commendation from Ordur, eh? That'll get you your first assignment. But more than that demands soldiers' work. All right, uh, Warsworn. Even as our coffers fill, our ranks stretched thin. This war, these times, have tested our mettle to the limit. Still, we have not wavered in our creed. A mercenary sells a sword without honor. The war sworn sell honor armed for battle. All right, so I think that's what she was doing when she was shaken. She had her fists clenched together like that. A uh, time Delfric. I am but a simple soldier grown old. First they made me Castellan of this keep, then that wasn't enough. So they named me Ancient of War, Steward of the Order. A hireling. I can make you a hireling. The work is plentiful and the pay is good. However, you are not truly of our order until you earn the rank of Pledge Shield. Uh, Dalentarth. As rife with brigands and brownies as ever. With our best call to the front, our numbers here are thin. 
trying to have a good name for an episode. Brigands and Brownies. Uh, Castellans. Free Wars One keeps guard the summer Phalans. Shield ring here, helm guard in Arathel, and iron fast into tear to each a Castellan and in Pluricon. Amaldor Svere Kura oversees our part in the war. Uh, Cluricon. It has been centuries since the war sworn have crossed into Cluricon. And in fact, that crossing has always resulted in tragedy for us. But we are mercenaries, and we are paid to fight there. So we must. All right, tell me about the work. Don't get any big ideas. Heroic deeds are long past, and the war's far away. But there's honest soldiers' work to be done. Hirelings earn good pay for standing guard, dealing with thieves, patrolling roads. In fact, there is a patrol setting out shortly, if you're interested. Uh, the war. Ten years ago, it raged all over the plains, and we earned our pay in combat. Now the war is in a standoff. And we pay warriors to sit in Melson Shire and stare at the Twatha army. Right, I'll have it. A merchant group has retained us to discover why traders have been vanishing from a road in Lorca Rain. Travel to Dyden Hill and meet a fellow hireling named Will Rendig. He is likely at the healers. Then report to Warden's Bridge. You and a crew of other hirelings will scour the area and ensure the roads are safe. Understood? Good then. Uh, will Rendig. Though he is only a hireling, he is war-sworn material, and we look after our own. He has cares of a personal nature, which presently detain him. Uh, uh, where should I go again? Find hireling Rendig in Dyden Hill. Check at the healers first, then join the patrol in Lorca Rain, mustering on the road near Warden's Bridge. Oh, he's using telepathy. Alright. Good. Off you go. She has anything to say about any of that. Scorned to war. That's what we call old Idwald. A hireling. Means you're in our pay, scrambling up the rocky slope to pledge shield. A uh, pledge shield. Pledge shields are sworn to war means you have earned the respect of all, and may call these halls home. Uh, Warsworn. Well, you're in. Be proud. There are no fighters like the Warsworn. Stick with us, and you might be someone someday. But I'm already Donald. Aye. Who else could I be? Uh, Edward Freeward. Stop gawking. <laughs> oh, there boy. There are grander things than children keep, but we're proud to call it home. Mind you, it's more than vaulted ceilings. It's about history and work, about Tyne Delfric, ancient of war, and Castellan of this place. All right, mutton chops. Uh, war sworn. Why, fighters, that's what we are. Fighters for hire, best you'll find. Were you thinking to join? I Tyne already Delfric's did. Tyne Delfric's the Castellan. Speak to him. Uh, Tyne Delfric. Castellan of this keep and ancient of war. That means he stands above the other Castellans and leads them, more or less. Delfric's a wise man. Prefers one well-timed sword thrust to twenty wild swings. That's because he's old and tires out easily. A uh, shuddering keep. You enter by the Great Hall, where Tyne Delfric holds talk with visitors. Forge and commissary are to the right as you enter the keep. Common quarters are straight ahead, with beds for pledge shield and above. Castellan's quarters are left. Don't go in there. Oh, I'm going to. A uh, pledge shield. Work hard as a hireling. Prove yourself able, and you'll make pledge shield sure enough. I'm looking for work. Oh, are you? I see. If you mean you want to join, you should speak to Tyne Delfric. If all you want is coin, go to the contract board. Pay for finished jobs comes from me. Uh, you keep the contract board? Yes. Take any job you like from the board itself. When a contract's done, return to me. On with you. On with you. Now, our contract's open to first taker. See curate of keep for pay on completion of task. Lost book, overgrown thickets. 
So that's the dungeon uh, to the southwest of the area that we're currently in. I betook myself a peaceful stroll within overgrown thicket, when rudely chased from my place of repose by several noisome, fearful beasts. Alas, a book of some value was left behind. Then Etmir Inquiry. Lapse of contact with Warsworn Camp in Etmir is cause of concern. Visit camp and make inquiries as needed. Note, combat always possible outcome in Etmir. And then Haxi Trolls, contract reposted. Previously posted contract has expired. More than five days unfulfilled. Remove troublesome troop, a group of trolls in Haxi. If possible, locate former contract holders. All contracts have been taken. Heck yeah. Alright, let's start exploring. Old Idwold's a scold. So actually there's not that much dialogue in this area so far. And fall. I'm quartermaster here. I have good war sworn forged arms and armor. All the things a fighter needs. Uh, Ast Ardura. I remember the time one eyed Arca routed us in Ironhold Passage. Then Ost appeared out of nowhere right behind them. Eh, but that was years ago. I uh, quartermaster. It's up to me to see that this ragged lot of stone headed roustabouts is provisioned with whatever they bloody need. And Shoulder and Keep. Well, Ironfast might have been built first, but Jotun tore it down. Rebuilt it, but only after Shieldring. By my count, that makes Shieldring eldest standing. And Warsworn Forged. That's Fiona, our blacksmith. She forged these, every one true enough. Uh, Fiona Terrain. Don't mind the bitterness. It's her own fault she's such a damn good blacksmith and merely an excellent fighter. It's a little... no, it's worse. That's some easy money. I actually have enough to get trained, but I can't train because the, uh, the skill trainers are limited. So the first ones you find can only train you up to the third level in a skill. So it would have actually made more sense to not put more points into Detect Hidden until I was at... Three points, because then when I leveled up, I could put points four and five into it. But that's there's an optimized, an optimal way to do it. Um, I'm not going to min-max that much. Aye. Just a heads up. What's this? Howder Roderick. How are you at the blacksmith's craft, boy? Don't answer. I can tell by your hands. Callow, confused, no discipline. Are you happy like that? Or do you wish to improve? Uh, so I think he's a trainer. For blacksmithing. Which I'm not super worried about. I do have... Is it one point in blacksmithing or two? Now blacksmithing. I could be persuaded to show you a bit of proper technique, I suppose. If you were hoping I'd mend something, you want Fiona over there. Uh, Fiona Terrain. That's my pupil there. She's a bright spark, she is. Green, though. Wants to run and play with swords too often. A harder Roderick. All you need know is I'm sworn to war and a blacksmith to my bones. I can teach you a little if you don't wear out my patience. And more sworn. Our skill at the forge is near as famous as in combat. Hm. Ought to be more famous. All right. What is it this time? Hey.
If no one cares, I mean, I may as well take it. Warsworn Ranks. Tyne Delphric, Ancient of War, Castlet of Shieldring Keep. Green Chain, Castlet of Helmguard Keep. Oda Kelfred or Selfred, Castlet of Ironfast Keep. Severi Kura, Am Amaldor, Melis and Shear. Ikwin, Enwi, Keeper of Monuments. Lyrian Sinric, Keeper of the Documents. Idwald Freyward, Curate of Shouldering Keep. Uh, Henrik Ald, Curate of Helmguard Keep. And then Adrith Deofrit, uh, Curate of Ironfast Keep. Just stuff that I don't care about. But it's money. Which I do care about. This is the shield ring smithy. If you need repairs, I can help with that. If you want to be scolded by a sour greybeard, talk to Halder there. Uh, blacksmithy. Repairs are an awful chore. Forging new things is a fine feeling, but there are days I long to wield the weapons I make. A uh, Halder. Oh, he's a fine blacksmith. Or he would be if he ever lifted his arm anymore. He prefers telling me how I'm lifting mine wrong. And shouldering keep. It's too green here. Too warm. Too many bugs and boggarts making a racket. I prefer the whiteness and silence of snow. It's a song by Trivium. Goodbye now. Well, snow of silence, I think. Or silence into the snow? Sorry. I don't know. I don't really like their new stuff, so. <laughs> but I know that it's a song by them, darn it. That's how I know I don't like it. At least as much as their old stuff. Actually, their newest album isn't as bad as their... Last two albums? Which just aren't good at all. Their first two albums, on the other hand. That's where it's at. First three albums, sorry. Shogun was good as well. Uh, that's more of the adventure. Wait, th we read the first part of that, didn't we? Uh, good. You've all made it. Let us go then and be assured that if anyone is to suffer, it will not be any of you. I said I will not risk your lives, and I'll hold true to that. You've honored me with your trust, and that is a bond I will not break. The details I will explain on our journey, but you must know of the tale already. The armor of Own is guarded. Uh, the hazards along the way are numerous. We'll pass through the places that have doomed Fey and mortal alike, places even demons fear to tread. We'll triumph where others have fallen. Even this dawn is already a success. You have dared to aspire to glories unknown to human or elf and act upon them. Sworn to war? Hello. Once you leave, kind of about my business. Letter to Delfric 1. Let's inspect those real fast. Alright. The Ancient of War, Tyne Delfric. Tyne, I'm well aware that many Warsworn are called for in Clericon, where the war still rages. I'm sure you're called to send more pledge shields than you can provide. And that as the honor and profit to be gained there is, is great. However, it has been two seasons that I have written begging you for one season Flood Shield. All of the numbers sent east each day. I do not have two worthy fighters for Ironfast. Thought respect and sworn to war. Castle and Oda Selfred or Kelfred. Then to the Ancient of War, Tyne Delfric. 
Agent Delfric, I've received your letter. I will I will wait. Send a pledge shield when you are able, but do not forget the threats that slumber in Detire. My worst sworn honor must be upheld here as well. With all respect and sworn to war, Castlin Oda Kelfrin. Put those in the uh, junk. Alright, so we did get Maiming Necklace plus 10% damage. Yeah, let's equip that. There was a Storm Spirit. Oh, it's a scepter. Uh, this delicate scepter is made in the Court of Winter style for an Almain healer and follower of Mitharu. Requires level 7. It's a scepter. I don't care about scepters. Scepters, I think, are like more of a Another ranged um, staff, if I'm not mistaken. It works as, like a, I think, a decent secondary weapon for uh, mages. Haven't showcased it yet. Actually, you know what? If I can equip the one, we'll do that real fast. Just showcase it. I don't have to. Yeah, here. It also takes mana. Another reason not to like it. I don't know if anyone can see me. At least I can break this stuff down, so. If I don't steal anything, I can still uh, lockpick to get the, uh, experience. Ugh, meh. Not only sleeping in full armor like this, but also sleeping on a cot in full armor. Whew. Cots do not do wonders for your back. Alright, let's go break down some of the weapons that I had, I picked up, and then also sell the other ones that I can. Because I'm more concerned about gold than I am uh, crafting. I probably, I don't plan on doing any crafting. I'm glad I reminded myself of that so I don't buy the training from Halder over here. Now, you will get better equipment from crafting, but you can easily beat the game without crafting. Commissary? I have a few supplies of fighters like. I think that's everything that I can sell, right? Actually, you know what? Can I buy those back? I, this might end up being a quest item, so I'm going to hold on to those. I saw a purple up here. That was my Traveler's Band. Oh, that was it. Okay. Alright, what's well, everything I can do here? Well, let's see if uh, Halder has anything else to say about Fiona now that I've talked to her. You call yourself a blacksmith? And what is my. Yeah, blacksmithing is two. Yeah. That'll go to waste. I think mercantiling, doesn't that eventually allow me to sell stolen stuff? Oh, yeah, this also works. So then I can just, if I want to destroy the stolen items, I get 15% of its value. There we go. Yeah, max level. So mercantile might be worth having. Now there are offenses as well in the world. There is a thieves guild type faction. Now we're gonna go to the House of Ballads. The Fae have a lot more to say, if I remember correctly. It's a 
They're very talkative bunch. Oh, just teleport me inside. Okay, well that works. Proceed Hello. no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sagral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Well, thank Alan you. The white prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. Uh, Tuatha. This new breed of mad fae has seized the court of winter in its grip. There can only be a summer and a winter. There is no other third order if we crave balance. Uh, Sir Sagril. He was one of our most beloved knights, a balanced treasure. I can't bear to think of him dead, now across the sea. A warrior for our savage cousins in the winter court. Uh, House of Ballads. The House of Ballads is home to the Court of Enchantments, where our heroes congregate and train before performing the feats that made them legends. There are three main structures on the grounds. The Court of Enchantments itself features the Wall of Saga, which depicts the most noteworthy songs in our canon. The Hall of Accolades is where the finest Fey crafters offer their services. Trainers can be found in the Summer Sanctuary, where we go when seeking enlightenment. Uh, Helm the White. The storyteller leads us all in the telling of the great songs of the Summer Court. He administers our house and serves our great knights in the Court of Enchantments. Uh, Gorhart Village. The mortals in Gorhart believe they have established a permanent settlement but they are sadly mistaken. Those homes will crumble. Those graves will multiply. Trees may be cut down, vines stripped away, but the forest will return, and it will not suffer the footsteps of men. Neither will the Fae. And Galen? I am known as the Squire. It is my duty to assist the Chancellor of the House of Ballads in all of his many endeavors. Halam treats me well, and it is an honor to serve. A Court of Winter. I did not fear them in previous seasons. They were our allies, as important to us as the autumn is to spring. But the Tuatha have upset the balance. A Court of Enchantments. Only the greatest heroes of the summer may be counted among the Court of Enchantments. Gwensen, Belmaid, Ferrara, Olaine, Aermer, and Creth. Their glory unites all Fey in a common narrative. It is one of the few things our people share. A contest. It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Ballads. This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the telling. Uh, Faye has been injured. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement, to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? I don't know. Uh, she... Ooh, I don't know. But I got—I don't know what happened. So, uh, we saved her from bandits, I guess. I don't. I. Neither one of these is like technically the truth because I don't know. Because we have that problem with the Red Legion, so it could have been a bandit, but it could have also been a villager. We saved her from the bandits. Well, all right. So Ari did say it was someone she didn't recognize. So it had to have been someone not in the village, right? So we'll say we saved her from bandits. That's my reasoning behind yes, that. Yes, I have noticed a growing number of humans in Dalintarth. It must be this war. I can't stay, I understand it. Oh, yes, your kind usually expects some form of trophy for good deeds. 
A bauble? A prize? Perhaps another time. If you would be so kind as to deliver this message. We mean the people of Gorhart no ill will. They have nothing to fear from us. Goodbye. I'm going in, man. I know you don't want me here, but... Agril's dead. It is not possible. Listen, all of you. As you've clearly heard, a rare vacancy has occurred in the House of Balance. There has been an event, a great twist in the narrative of our kind. Sir Sagril has fallen. Sagril, slayer of Ozigan, defender of the Crown of Haxi, has been defeated. A death in the House of Ballads gives an opportunity, a chance for one hero to join the ranks of the greatest champions in fay telling. Olain, Kreth, Wenson the Bold. Do you, do any of you, have the courage to pass the confirmation? If you do, your adventures will be sung to the heavens for all eternity. It sounds a little bit like Tigger. We Fae do not appreciate mortals tampering with our affairs. Okay, uh, Court of Enchantments. When you stand before the Knights of the Court of Enchantments, you bask in the glory of all Fae. While all of our kind play a role in the grand telling, it is the feats of a legendary few that bear remembering. These knights lead the House of Ballads. Okay, uh, Phicon. I am Phicon, speaker of renown the world over. I've claimed many ballads, but none so important as those sung by the Court of Enchantments. This is my third attempt at claiming a seat in the House of Ballads. Perhaps this telling will be the one. Uh, Hallam the White. All Fay know of the storyteller. He is the caretaker of the telling and has been since the first spring began. Uh, House of Ballads. There is no higher honor than to earn a noteworthy role in the telling. They make up the cornerstone of our shared experience. The House of Ballads' function is to ensure that the mightiest Fay heroes do not fade into obscurity, that they are always with us in the present. Okay, and the telling. Call it history or the past. Each life tells a tale. But there is no yesterday, as there is no tomorrow. It is all today. One grand and vibrant telling. Our narrative continues to be spun. Even your presence here, while strange, is part of the changing picture. Yeah, so how, as far as I understand it, a telling is basically a phase life. Because they always get brought, they always come back. But each of their lives, because I don't think they die naturally. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember reading that. I might just be making that up by the top of my head. I don't remember. But every time they die, it's a telling. So every life they live is a telling. The audacity. Holland the White. You stand back up, buddy. I'm talking to you. This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. One of our most beloved heroes has fallen. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. Uh, what is the House of Ballads? We are the collectors of tales, the warriors of lore, the most respected of all summer court heroes. Our deeds are known across the Fey lands. Our great knights, Wenson the Bold, Ermer the Pure, Olain the Kind, are destined to repeat their quests for all eternity that no Fey may ever forget. They remind us of who we are and what we've done, of our greatest achievements and our deepest losses. The house ensures those defining tales are never forgotten. What happened to Sir Sagril? Sir Sagril, slayer of Ozigan, lord of the morning mists, and defender of the crown of Haxi, was one of our most beloved knights. His tales have endured for generations. Several days ago, he departed to do battle with the Grave Thresh, his most famous and legendary foe. But there was an event, a twist in the story. In this telling, it was the Thresh that bested Sagril. 
Such an outcome has never happened. I don't know what to make of it. I want to fill the seat. You are bold. But that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy fey hero may finish his quest, complete his story. However, these are strange times. Magic weaves itself in new patterns and change. It is the one thing with which we fey have no experience. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. That didn't take a lot of convincing. A Hallam the White. I am Hallam the White, seeker of the Stone of Val, Baron of the Drowned Forest, Slayer of Argoth the Mighty, and Chamberlain to the House of Ballads. Many in the House of Ballads call me the Storyteller. For I watch over the Summer Court's anthology of experience. A uh, Court of Winter. For many seasons, the Court of Winter ruled alongside us as allies. There is no spring without the cool decay of autumn. No bright summer without the snow. Yet, even as our power wanes, theirs is mysteriously on the rise. Surely, you have felt it. A uh, quarter of summer. We are the soldiers of summer, the guardians of the light of spring. When our cousins in the winter court celebrate the darkening of the skies, we revel in the dawn. However, our cycle is changing. Everyone has noticed the fires on the sea, the monsters in the east and the whispers on the lips. The summer court is in decline. The Song of Sir Sagro. It is a popular tale, featuring the summer court's most treasured rogue. One afternoon, Sagro, his head sleepy with wine and dreams of women, awoke to a terrible roar. The treacherous maid of Windermere, Villain of the House of Ballads was summoning forth a beast from beneath the earth. She wished to send it against Wenson himself. When the maid departed, Sagril tread into the beast's lure and killed it, only to realize that it was simply the first of many deadlier enemies. What a song! And where is the Grave Thresh? The lair of the Thresh is east of this great house. In the hollow of Gorgoth. In the evenings after dark, you can hear its disturbed slumber. The cries are unsettling. Go now. And... A mortal here? Alright, we'll start by going over here. Also, I like how there's like these... Ent like faces in the uh, environment. It's really, really cool looking place. Alright, we'll start with the left and work our way right through these buildings, see who we can talk to. The Summer Sanctuary. Oh, another one of Amon's keys. We might go ahead and knock that out this episode too, just to mix it up a little bit. Our chemical lab and Ukabal. Welcome. You've come to the right place, my friend. Yes, you have. This is where all the grandest questing goes on. Right in this bottle. Hey, old Ukabal will teach you everything you need to know about alchemy. Uh, alchemy. Pinch of this, drop of that. Not much to it, really. Tell me what you need and I'll see to it you get a bottle. That is, unless I've consumed it all in a fit of fancy. Care to learn? Uh, mortals. I can hardly discern one of you creatures from another. I mean no offense, of course. I simply don't care. 
Dig for the rumors elsewhere, my friend. Okay, uh, Ukabal. I really don't remember how I came to be here. So long as no one tells me to leave, I'll carry on. Spinning my own song long after everyone else is gone. Okay. He acts like he's a trainer. He keeps asking if I want to learn, but then he doesn't give me the opportunity to learn. So I don't know... <laughs> He's actually supposed to be a trainer or not? Why, hello, Elova. Let me take a look at you. Ooh, very fair you are. Too fair for the House of Balance, that is certain. I tend to enjoy the company of mortals. So fleshy. I'm Elova, instructor in the persuasive arts. That includes seduction, but you probably guessed that. Uh, can she actually train me? I think I'm yeah, I'm already over her skill level, because I have six in persuasion. Uh Elova. I was brought here by Ferrara himself. Forbidden love can lead you in the strangest of directions. Here I am at the House of Ballads, and I won't even hold a sword. Care to be my squire? Intense relationships they are. Very intense. Many moonlit evenings are expected. Uh, Maid of Windermere. The ballads sing of her as a winter court witch, and that she wishes to wither the summer. Me, I believe her affections for Wenson are quite real. I've met him. I know. Uh, persuasion training. I can make almost anyone do almost anything. Don't believe me? Ask one of my many admirers. I'm willing to make you privy to my secrets. For a price. I'm already better than you, so no thank you. Come back soon. I guess we could be on par, because usually people that are training are above that level, so... It's not fair to assume. I'm going to check this one more time. Beautiful Belmeda, and I look around thinking... Whoops. What fool wouldn't jump at the chance to spend his days sitting around drinking such magical tonics? Not me. Yeah, he still Go can't on, train man. me. That's interesting. What's my... I have one point into it. Huh. Arvia. Welcome, ageless one. I am Arvia, but I suspect you know that already. The tides of fate have washed me upon your shore, and I'm here to do your bidding. Okay, I'm gonna exit this and soon. try and talk to her in a way that I can see her. It is an honor there to we go. see you again. I'm glad your path is unfolding as I have foreseen it. Alright, uh, Art of Divination. I am but a tool of the destinies. A mouthpiece for their changing voices. I do not know how I know what I know. It has been that way since I first stepped from my hollow. Uh, Arvia. You act as though we're strangers. But that's not true, is it? In many a dream you've come to me. Even in death you've brushed my consciousness. Uh, fate weaving. I am here for you. To guide you in the careful separation of the threads of fate. And to ease you into a more appropriate plane. Uh, House of Balance. Lord Issa had great faith in Winston, and his instincts have proven true. But all kingdoms fall, and all kings fall with them. There is no clear victory for the House of Ballads. I see nothing. Only you. And made of Windermere. Yes, it's true. She exists, skirting the edges of my consciousness. But I am unaware of her intentions. That is more troubling than anything else. And she can also reset our skills if I wanted to for a price. And by destiny for 1,792. This is one time, 23,000. Is that how much money I have? What is how much money I have? I should probably sell some of this stuff when I get the chance. Alright, cool. Also, I know that I'm not happy with the ponytail that my character has. Uh, there is a way to change your appearance once you get a home. I think all homes come with a mirror that you can change your appearance in. So we'll get to that eventually. Uh, we'll do the Court of Enchantments last. I think that all the heroes are in there. Those will probably be long conversations, so we'll knock out everything else first. Well, zero percent chance across the board, so. Greetings. And we got the last key there. Yeah, we'll just start with this guy. 
Uh, Sir Tarka. Good day. How can I help you? You are the mortal I've been hearing about. How dare they say you are meek? Why, to me, you look as fierce as a troll. The House of Ballads. The songs of the House of Ballads are not simply stories. They are part of the magic that unites us all, summer and winter alike. They move through us like the seasons. There are some who believe our time of glory is on the decline. That our ballads will fade into mortal history like whispers. I say, never underestimate a good story. A uh, sage crafting. I can help you with any gems or shards. Speak to them on your behalf. It isn't as hard as you might think. Uh, unless they're stubborn, of course. And Tarka. My telling is not one of battle and bravery, but of binding. I served Wenson himself back when the great ballads were new. We did not sing them then. We lived them. All right, so he can unbind gems if I had gems socketed into my armor or equipment, which I do not. Forehart is the place for you. The Flame of Ryderk. Not sure what that was for. There's more of these things sitting behind him. Use Echo Stone. May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the Echo Stone etches each ballad in memory. The Flame of Ryderk. The Bulgan came. Eyes of flame, and hearts born black with fury. To Lorca reign through wind and rain, their wish to rend and plunder. Till two nights true, in green and blue, rose up to face this villain, and sought a blade that would not fade in spring or deepest winter. Rydark was forged, a mystic sword, one that would do its duty. And the knights so true, in green and blue, laid the Bulgan low forever. Uh, yeah, let's start that ballad, I guess. Let's talk to Gleonel. Greetings. I am Gleonel, also known as the Antiquarian. What does a child of dust require of me? A uh, quarter summer. All of us in the Western Feylands are subjects of High King Tatarian. Our presence maintains the natural balance, bringing the green of spring at winter's end. Uh, Fey. We are the story that is told in every age with different words, but the same meanings. We are the blazing summer and the brooding winter, forever following one another. We are as we have always been and shall ever be. No more and no less. Uh, Gleonol. As antiquarian, I'm keenly aware of the lesser ballads in Fey telling, and do my best to ensure that they're not lost in the wide river of time. I'm keeper of the Echo Stone here in the House of Ballads. It has only come to us recently, but I find its purpose most fascinating. Echo Stone. It is a new relic crafted by several of our most attuned Fey mages. Usually the notion of new repels me, but in this case, I can't help but feel a spark of curiosity. The Echo Stone can be used like a law stone to experience past narratives, stories that have long since left the lips of their tellers. However, one can only use the Echo Stone if he has the right matching cairn, a magical key devised by Hallam the White himself. Hallam the White. The role of the storyteller is the most important to the Fey in the Court of Summer. He watches the telling as it unfolds. His gaze is not on one ballad, but all of them. The High King Titarian. His wisdom is above us all, even the lords and ladies of the House of Ballads. The High King guides us in all the grand telling of the Fey. 
uh, House of Ballads. For you, tales are naught but a reminder of your inevitable decline. But for the Fae, our tales are eternal reminders of our truest selves. Here we celebrate the very heart of our kind. The greatest of our tales, reborn and relived. Oops. Uh, the telling. Every creature has its story. The wake it leaves behind in its travel. That is a telling. It is a narrative of defeats and victories that give every life meaning. Our fey telling goes on from creation deep into the hidden end. Until then, we celebrate the small songs, the ones that celebrate the spring in which we find ourselves. Go well in the telling. Wait, is there a plant? Can I grab this plant over here? No, I think it's grown into the uh, the map itself. That happens time to time. Hello, mortal. Green. Welcome to the summer sanctuary, where the seeds of knowledge are sown and nurtured. I see you are a stranger and a mortal. I am Green, and I possess the healer's warmth. You have need of my services. Have you been injured in your mortal war? A uh, court of enchantments. All of us at the House of Ballads live to serve Wenson and the court. They are the lords and ladies of tradition, embodiments of fey glory. Without them, we are nothing. Uh, Crystal War. If you ask me, our kind should be moving east to aid the Alpha. We are part of a bigger world now. The telling has changed. We cannot ignore what you call the future. Uh, Green the Healer. For our kind, Healing is simply a matter of asking our bodies to mend themselves. For one like you, it's... it's more complicated. I don't know how you lasted this long. Uh, healing. I do what I can. Most of the time, it's not enough. I've learned much from the dying races. Life is precious. Our kind often forget that. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, to the Court of Enchantments. We're almost done talking to everybody. Making some good progress, I think. No, I can't go inside. Okay. We'll have several quests to do now. I think we're going to knock out these two chests real fast just to mix up the, uh, the pacing of this episode a little bit, for my sake. Uh, there's the Spring and Summer Keys. I don't remember where the... I know where one of them's at, off the top of my head. The other one I don't remember. Oh wait, I might. I think it's down there to the south next to where I did that uh, ring quest. Uh, one of them is over here. So that'd be faster, just a fast travel. Yeah, this is closer, so we'll fast travel here. It should save us a little bit of time. There it is. And I think the last one was to the south a little ways. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this place when I was searching for the darn... To drink, but... uh, antelopes in the last episode. I kept running across the two chests that I can unlock, and I think the other one is just north of here. So this may have been the first one that I unlocked as well. I might be getting the two confused. Yeah, it looks like this one's already been opened. Oh darn. That means I don't remember where the other one's at. Alright. Well, I'm interested in grabbing this last one just to get it done. So.
It might be up here. Um, I think there's one up there. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? And we get a little bit of combat, so you know what? It's gonna be a little exciting. This combat is one of the highlights of this, uh, this game. So the more we get, the better. We'll just run around and keep our eyes peeled. Um, it was the spring one, I think. Right? I know one of them holds a unique item. I don't remember where they're all at, though. It may be up towards the... Uh... I'm getting pretty close, and I don't see it. There was one up here, but I think that I... Oh, was it oh, I think it's the one that's over here. And we jumped off that cliff and there was one sitting in the corner. I think... I found a chest. That is better, and Gloves of Fire version are better than that, though barely. Oh, the Menace for Finesse. I thought there was one. Oh, here it is, but we've opened this one. Gosh darn it. Well, we'll keep running around then and try to remember where they're all at. I'm not going to stop the episode till I find the last one, because then it'll be done. I don't think it was to the east. I'm pretty sure it was to the west. Another place I can think. Was there one up here? Let's go take out this bandit camp real quick, then we'll look at that. Or brownie camp? Bandit camp. Also, I did learn something valuable off camera when I was hunting for the, uh... Antelopes. If your weapon breaks, you can still repair it. So it's not a bad idea to hold, just hold onto your repair kits until your, uh, items break. I know in some games when they break, there you can't repair them, but uh, in this one you can. So this is better by twenty-four armor, man, and the block of efficacy. I mean, the other one might be better in general uh, with all the perks and stuff, but. We're gonna have to upgrade eventually, so may as well just do it now. Check up here. Plus, there's a bunch of enemies, so if it's not up here, we still get to kill a bunch of things.
Ah, there it is. Okay. See, I know there is something. Alright, we'll take out these guys, then I'll fast travel south to the uh, overgrown thicket, and that's where we'll start in the next episode. But we may as well get some more experience while we're here, right? We're getting a lot of aversion equipment, which is good. Oh, there's a thingy up here. Cool. Alright, we'll just fast travel down to this... Uh... Actually, you know what? I'm going to call it here, and then off camera I'm going to go back and sell... Uh, some of the items that I picked up, and then get rid of all the stuff that I can't sell. And then in the next episode, we'll start at the Overgrown Thicket, and start knocking out a bunch of the side quests that we have. So we have a lot to do. So the next couple of episodes should be pretty action-packed. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next one.